I'm currently uh, studying mechanical engineering and also taking an option in aerospace. Alors, quand j'étais plus jeune, mon père a essayé de m'apprendre la trigonométrie. Um, pour vous dire la vérité, uh, je n'ai pas compris beaucoup de ce qu'il m'a dit, mais uh, je pense à ce moment-là, quand il a commencé à me montrer des choses uh, plus avancées de ce que, que j'apprenais à l'école, um, que mes intérêts ont vraiment commencé à piquer, puis j'ai vraiment pris un intérêt pour uh, continuer à développer mes connaissances uh, mathématiques, scientifiques et pouvoir entrer en génie ensuite. At a very early age, his friends were learning different things, music or whatever, and uh, I thought, well, what do I know what I can teach my son? And so I decided I would teach him uh, the theorem of Pythagore. I sat down with him, and he was only, I think he was only seven years old, and uh, I showed him how to, the theorem, and uh, he understood. I really like uh, being able to apply the mathematics and the science that I really enjoy learning uh, to real-world application problems. Uh, being able to look around and, and seeing something that uh, we use every day and understanding how things work and, and how things operate. I get a lot out of being involved. For me, a big aspect is the social aspect, interacting with other students, with professors, with other professionals in order to provide for the students. So whether it's academic events, networking events, whatever it might be, I really enjoy giving back and, and kind of seeing a project being fulfilled and, and other students and other individuals benefiting from that project. My first two years while I was in engineering, I worked on the UMSATS team, so University of Manitoba Space Application and Technology Society. A little bit of a mouthful, but uh, the purpose of that group was to design a satellite and uh, to compete in the Canadian Space Agency. The work that I was doing was on the tardigrade chamber, um, so did a little bit of SOLIDWORKS modeling with that, um, did a little bit of research on how we could figure a tardigrade chamber in order to make it work. Andre is uh, extremely easy to work with. He's uh, very accomplished. Despite the fact that he's probably one of the inherently smartest kids I've ever worked with, uh, is humble. For about four and a half years now, I've been volunteering at Saint Amant. Um, for me, it's been a re really rewarding uh, experience, especially lately since I've uh, moved into the community home and I've been uh, working one-on-one -on -one with another individual. Andre is really committed. He's here, he shows up on time. He always has a smile on his face when he comes in the door, which just makes it that much better for the individuals, that much more exciting. For me, getting involved has um, been the most important uh, decision I've made since I started in engineering. Uh, it's allowed me to make a lot of new friends, to uh, gain a lot of experience as well, to really develop as an individual, and um, all the while doing all these things, being involved in the engineering society, uh, has allowed me to really give back to the students as well and improve the student experience. He's got that well-rounded, broad uh, base of, of experience, of, of skills, and, and I think that anything he sets his mind to, he will be able to achieve. When I was very young, my dream job would be to become an astronaut, and uh, it's nothing, uh, I've never really lost that passion and that interest to be an astronaut, um, but my focus has um, kind of broadened in a way, so not only would I still love to be an astronaut, but just to work in the aerospace industry, to do some design work on, on planes or rockets or anything space related would be really interesting.